Thank you, Mr. Chair, and uh, thank you very much for being here today. Uh, this has been quite enlightening, so thank you for your comments. Uh, first off, uh, being a retired Navy captain, we, if you focus on the current war, you are missing it altogether. We need to focus on the next war. And what we are seeing now is, Mr. Coleman, you uh, uh, cyber jihadists. Um, I, I truly feel the, uh, the previous notion of asymmetric warfare, we have gone way beyond that into something, a new realm, a new, a new difference of what we are actually seeing today. Uh, Ms. Townsend, also, uh, we are at a war without borders, and I very much appreciate your comments regarding the lone wolf. And uh, in, in, in quickly reviewing your background, I would just like you to comment a little bit on that, because one of the votes we will be taking very soon is uh, regarding three components within the Patriot Act. I was wondering if you could comment on that, if you believe that these are necessary vehicles to make sure that we can protect Americans and with the United States without uh, uh, jeopardizing any constitutional rights that Ameri American citizens would have. The lone, as you know, Congressman, the lone wolf it represents the most, the greatest challenge to federal investigators uh, and local authorities. It, it's unpredictable. It's difficult to identify in advance. Unlike an organization where people have got to talk to one another and plan, and so. I believe that the, those provisions in the Patriot Act are essential to the FBI's continued ability uh, to effectively do these investigations and identify the threats. To the extent, I can tell you during my time in the White House when there was the, the initial renewal of the Patriot Act, to the extent there are concerns, there are procedural mechanisms for oversight and reporting uh, that ought to give people the confidence and the courage to, to vote to extend the Patriot Act. Mr. Hamilton, looks like you would like to say something. Yeah, I, uh, I support the uh, provisions in the Patriot Act as well, and I think they should be extended. Now, uh, obviously what has happened uh, since 9-11 is the power of the government has expanded dramatically in terms of intrusion into the lives of people for necessary reasons. I think all of us have supported that, ex that expansion of power. And uh, these provisions, I think, uh, Fran, I'm correct in saying, just kind of bring you up to date in terms of your ability to uh, uh, keep track of these bad guys. Having said all of that, may I also put in a plug for the Privacy and uh, Oversight Board? Because I think that what you have had over the period of the last decade is this uh, environment in which the security people win every argument, and they can, for, for obvious reasons, because we are very deeply concerned about our security. But there is not a sufficient pushback. Uh, on the side of civil liberties and privacy. That voice needs to be strengthened, I think, within government, uh, across the board, and especially with regard to the intelligence agency. So I want a strong Patriot Act, but I also want a counterbalance to that with a privacy and oversight board, and I want the President to get that thing up and moving. Oh, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, Mr. Bergen, uh, in your testimony, you stated that Pakistani Taliban in the tribal regions uh, have, has been successful in the attempts to attract Western and American uh, recruits and, and poses a threat to Americans. Uh, obviously, uh, how much cooperation in the Pakistani ISI are you seeing? And uh, do you think that uh, the relationships uh, can be salvaged moving forward? I mean, I think Representative Hamilton, uh, unsurprisingly, said one of the wisest things possible about this, which is we have to, we're not going to solve our relationship with Pakistan. We're going to have to manage it. And as a point of information, four ISI buildings have been attacked by the Taliban. So, you know, the ISI has a very complex relationship with the Taliban. Are we getting what we want from them? No. Are we getting, is the Pakistan government doing quite a lot? Yes. Um, serious military operation in southern Waziristan in 09, unlike previous operations, a serious operation in SWAT in 09 as well. So the enemy of the perfect is not the reasonably okay. And what we're seeing right now is, I think, overall reasonably okay. Could it be better? Yes. Will it get better? I'm not sure. I appreciate your comments and the amount of soldiers that have been killed in action in regards against the uh, Taliban. That was. Uh, that was quite telling. Uh, sir, I have 21 minutes, 21 seconds left, so I will yield back, sir. I thank the gentleman for his uh, prudence. Uh, that I am uh, 